Northwest Profiles, presented by CarStar. Cars are more than just metal. They're our friend and our best friend's best friend. When something happens to them, you can depend on CarStar for collision, glass, and auto care. CarStar, where accidents unhappen. It is a tradition that goes back a dog's age. The use of canines working together with police to provide a shield of protection to the communities they serve. In the city of Spokane, Washington, the police department has got a firm grip on this long-standing leash between humans and animals. My name is Officer Craig Hamilton with the Spokane Police Department and this is my canine, Ciro. My name is Sergeant Sean Wheeler with the Spokane Police Canine Unit and this is my partner, Riker. My name is Dan Lesser. I'm a senior police officer for the Spokane Police Department, and this is my dog, Murphy. I'm Paul Buckman. I'm a police officer with the Spokane Police Department, and this is my partner, Talon. My name is Paul Gorman. I'm an officer with the Spokane Police Department, uh, and this is my canine partner, Axel. The Spokane Police Canine Unit provides support to city police officers and other regional law enforcement agencies by searching buildings and vehicles, finding crime scene evidence, locating missing people, drugs, and explosives. They also track wrongdoers on the run and keep police officers safe. So much of our job is we have to react to it, and the more reaction time we have, the safer it's gonna be for us. So if we're tracking somebody down, he's hiding, Talon can hopefully indicate that the bad guy's hiding right there. That allows us to set up a plan, figure out what we wanna do. They definitely help us do our, our job a whole lot safer. Plus just their ability to use force. It's a different type of force and just their mere presence a lot of times will convince someone that they should give up rather than hide or run. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most police dogs have European origins. The two most commonly used breeds are the German Shepherd and the Belgian Malinois. And like humans, they all have unique personality traits. Axel is, how can I describe you, buddy? Axel is probably the dog in the unit that is the most fearless. He came from Germany. He's a German Shepherd. His color is sable. He's about 80-ish pounds, and he likes uh, walks on the beach. <laughs> Talon is a German Shepherd. He's from the Czech Republic. He was imported to the United States from a vendor, uh, like most police dogs are. He's very social. He loves doing public appearances. But yet, when it's time to work, thank you. When it's time to work, he is all about work. Um, he has great drive, he, he loves to track, he loves to search. Canines undergo rigorous testing and training that will determine the finest dogs for the force. A good police dog is fit, fearless, smart, social, and has a keen sense of smell. When we're training these dogs, what we're trying to do is expose them to as many different weird things, uh, noises, footing issues, lighting issues. They're trained in obedience tracking, building searches, evidence searches. We also do man work, and that would consist of, we would have a decoy set up wearing a bite suit and try and recreate where the decoy might be acting as a bad guy. That bad guy is their, oh yeah, I know. That's their favorite chew toy. You know, that's the way we train them. To them, they're, they're hunting around the yard for their favorite chew toy. Murphy is the most social dog that I've ever worked before. He's the nicest dog ever. He's a Belgian Malinois German Shepherd mix. He's from Czechoslovakia. Murphy's not a drug dog, he's not a bomb dog, he's a people finder, so he finds bad guys. So he tracks the human scent left over by the bad guys when a bad guy may uh, run and try and hide. Riker actually came from the State Patrol. And he's a black lab, he's five years old and he's the only dog within the department that's an explosive detection dog. Oh, that's a boy! He is incredible. He's uh, one of the hardest working... <laughs> he's one of the hardest working dogs that I've seen for detection. He has so much drive. To keep these canines in A1 condition, the Spokane Police Department heavily relies on donations to provide the top quality care, equipment, and training for the dogs. 
K9 Support Northwest is a 501c3 nonprofit that was founded in 2014 to raise funds to support local K9 units. I'm Carla Blazik, and this is my dog Dietz. I manage our Facebook page, and I also work really closely with the K9 units, go to training every week and take photographs just to raise awareness in the area about what our K9 units do. It's a calling that I didn't even know that I had in me. It's my passion and my life. Helping to support these men and dogs that risk their lives for us every single night they're out. Together, they are six legs and a badge that forge an unbreakable bond that goes beyond being buddies on the beat. It's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, we get very attached to our dogs. A lot of times we spend more time with our dogs than we do our wives and our family. They go to work with us every night. They come home with us. They stay at our house. You build that special bond with, with, with your dog. I tell him more. He knows everything about me than anybody else in the world because I just sit there and talk to him for 40 hours a week. The career of a canine officer is six to eight years. When they retire from service, they will go home to live with their handler. It is a crime to harm or kill a police dog. And if a canine officer is killed in the line of duty, they'll receive the same honors as their human partner. When I first started here, one other thing I wanted to do was to figure out ways to keep my friends, my coworkers safe. Um, a lot of that is, uh, is him. We use them because they're brilliant animals, and it's very nice to know that I have him in front of us. And to be that initial point of contact with somebody who's very dangerous and can distract them long enough to where we can safely get down there and get him without getting hurt. Spokane Police Department K-9 Unit is, without question, the gold standard. The history and the level of dedication and training that these men hold themselves to is unparalleled. There's no doubt in my mind that he's saved officers' lives and even saved suspects' lives by us using him instead of having to use other uses of force. Until I got this position, I didn't really have a grasp of what the capabilities of these animals really are, and so it's just been an incredible journey getting to experience it with him. You know there are certain calls where he'll find somebody hiding and there's a weapon right where they were laying, and you know without anybody saying it that he probably did save your life or somebody's life, so it's very rewarding. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.